Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and today we will continue create our amazing building uh, but mm, we will try to create today the nice graphics for our of drawings and maybe later on we will do the some schedules so uh, let's get start so now we will a bit prepare our mm, our view template. As you know, we already did uh, our view template. Uh, my view template is uh, room G, so let's I will open up it. Uh, let's see what will change here. So actually, nothing will change because it's uh, pretty same. It was pretty same graphic. And uh, one thing what I want to change here. As you can see, here is my server case, but uh, the wrong thing for me. I don't know it's how it will be for you, but I want to see some dash lines of my staircase. So how I can do that uh, for the all of the, the my drawings? Uh, I will go to the room G, so and after that I will find here the visual graphics of right model. So just go here. Let's open up and here you should find the staircase because we wanna work with the staircase. So let's scroll down. We will find here the staircase. Uh -huh, this is here. As you can see now it's switch on and not any overrides graphics, but it's okay. Let's open up and you will see it's not like this. Actually we cannot see now all above the lines. So I want to see for example the cut marks. I want to see for example let's switch off or uh, switch on all this uh, above things and we will see how it will change. Let's say OK and let's one more time OK. And you can see now we can see uh, our uh, staircase till the cutting line and after that we can see the dash line. So this is what I want. But uh, as you can see uh, I want it stop uh, till this uh, wall. So I have a few ways to, um, to uh, hide these lines. One way of that, you can do it manually. Uh, if your project is really small, you can do it manually, it's okay. The uh, second way, you can use the filters. I will use the f first way, because my project is really small, I can control everything here. So how you can do that? Just select your staircase, find here uh, line work, you will find it under modify stairs, line work, and here you should find the line style invisible. So invisible lines here, so let's choose it. And now just select the lines what you wanna uh, make the invisible. So let's just select that. As you can see, I have the second line, just double click. And here, you just should uh, make the double click because we have on the one line a uh, few lines, like two lines. So, and I wanna hide these lines and I had these lines. Let's hide this one and that one. Okay. And as you can see, I hide the line of the wall, so I will go to the by category and I will make it back. So as you can see, this is what I want. Now I, am, I see exactly where is the my staircase and I can see where is the my section of this staircase. And uh, one thing what I cannot see, I uh, not understand where is the start of the my staircase, where is the end. So I should, I should see the uh, start way. Uh, and how to do that, I will show you right now. So, uh, to create the line which showing your way uh, on your staircase, you should go to the annotate line because this is annotate. So let's go to the annotate tab and here we will find everything uh, about the symbols. You will find here the stair, stair path, so this is what we want. So let's choose it, just choose your, uh, after that choose your staircase and now you will see the line we showing where is the up. So let's choose them and you can see this is a family which can be changed. For example, I don't want to show the up text, I just switch off and you will see only the line. So you can change everything, for example, the, we can change the type of the text to the horizontal line and the vertical as you want. If you will go to the edit type, you will find here the few more settings about the arrow, about the uh, size of the text, uh, everything as you want. You can change anything, but don't forget, if you will change something here inside edit type, you will change all of this type standard. Don't forget about that. Okay, so I will leave this line only, I need only line, so let's see what we can uh, put here the more. Actually, we can make the count of our polarizers. So let's choose them, treat number, and after that you can, for example, do like this, 
like this and you can see all the numbers of course you can delete some numbers if you don't don't want to see it uh if you want to the, leave it just leave it and don't do anything so i will delete and i don't need these lines but anyway you can make the count here on the, your plan if you need you know it's up only your your goal okay so uh, we finish with our staircase if you will go for example to the level one let's go to the level one we will see the same thing we can see our uh, our staircase after after it's a uh, cutting line but again we, we have here the up uh, text so you should switch off it i don't want to see up text and if you go to the level two so i can see here is down text so let's switch off this down text i don't want to see it and just on and on like level three we don't have here anything and level four here everything clear uh, so let's go back to the basement floor i will close all the all the tabs which i don't need and i will start prepare all my drawings because now i understand i, I finish uh, like half percent so and i can actually already export it to the my drawing sheets uh, let's prepare all the text so don't forget here it uh, should be, be a lead line to uh, for example extend your text uh, somewhere outside and this one I will leave like as it is but I just make it on the one line so here it looks not bad so let's make the our mm, uh, our grids a bit closer and our size also a bit here uh, as you can see i have here for example uh, the section line right uh, you can uh, hide it for example if your scale is 1 to 100 you can hide it on this scale for example let's choose them and you will find it here uh, hide at scale co coarser than 1 to 100 so let's change it for example 1 to 500 it will be still here but if i will change to 1 to 50 it will be hide so if if it less than your uh, scale uh, on the, your view it will be height so, but the main thing if you want to uh, get it back if you, you will go for example to hidden line you will not find it here it's not here it's gone actually it's not gone i'm kidding sorry uh, it's hidden by your uh, scale so till your scale uh, it's less than uh, your for example uh, your section you cannot get it back so how what you can do actually just uh, select your uh, section and change here the hidden scale uh, coarser than and let's go back to the 100 millimeters and it's going back to your view so let's leave it here it's okay uh, we will leave as it is so if you want you can change the type of this uh, scale it's possible too if you want to make here the some numbers we will do it later on when we will uh, when we will put everything i mean all the views on the our drawing uh, sheets so till it we didn't do so don't write here anything we will do it later on and as I said, let's a bit prepare our drawing. Uh, uh, as you can see, for example, uh, my walls, it's not type as I want. I mean, the graphics, it's not what I want. Actually, the first thing, for example, here, the sum line, I need to uh, prepare it, modify, let's use the drawing, and let's make it more right. And I think it will be now everything okay. Just let's a bit extend, so now everything okay. But the line, uh, I mean the hatch of this uh, wall, it's white. I don't like it. But if I will change, for example, the course to the, uh, I mean the uh, detail to the course, it's uh, will uh, work for all of my models. But I want work only with the my wall. So like, what I can do? Let's go again to the room G. And here uh, we will sh we will go to the visual graphic again. Here we will find now the wall. Uh, we have the two choices what we're gonna do. So here the walls. We can change, for example, a hatch of our line. I mean the pattern. Sorry. Or we can change detail for detail level for the our wall only for our wall. So let's uh, try first the second way. As you can see here, the by view, I will change to the course one, and I'll say okay. Let's say okay so again. And as you can see, it's still white. So we don't have a choice. We should change now the type of the uh, i mean the type of the graphics for the our wall so let's go back and here the walls we will find again now cut patterns so let's go here mm -hmm. uh, let's override it 
uh, the pattern I will choose the solid one and the color I will choose something uh, near to the uh, to the um, black one. I know one get the uh, totally black, so maybe it's uh, let's make hundred uh, one hundred twenty eight and one hundred twenty eight by hundred twenty eight. So this is a really cool color. It's not totally black, and it's still uh, it still looks like. Let's say okay. Let's say okay again. And yes, this is what I want. As you can see, we have some here the pile. Uh, parts of the white color because this is actually the column so as you understand we will do the same thing with the column so let's go back if you will use the visual graphics uh, from this view you will see everything block because we are using view template don't forget if you are using the view template you should go to the view template and change visual graphic inside view template only so let's find here the columns so this the my columns columns is here uh, my columns is also uh, cut it so that's why i'm using this block not this one if my uh, columns not will cut it i will use the uh, projector and surface but if it's uh, cut it use the cut one so let's choose the cut uh, oh i mean the column uh, pattern and let's make the same color so again solid again color i already know it's 128 let's say okay Let's say again, okay, and one more time, okay, two, two more times, sorry. And as you can see, we get really cool graphics. It's uh, it's not uh, the perfect one, but it's what I want, actually. Uh, let's make a bit more things. Uh, we can go now, for example, to visual style graphics, and you will find here graphic display options, and you will see it's blocked too. Because again, we are using the view template. We should go inside the view template and change it there. So I want to create the shadows. As you can see, it's block hit, blocked here. So we will go now again to the view template. We will find now our view template and you will see here the uh, shadows. Let's open up the shadows and you will see the same thing actually. Uh, let's decast the shadows and let's make the ambient light. And what I want, I want also the uh, some settings of the light. So we cannot change it here, but we can change it right here. Let's say OK, let's go to the light. Uh, sun, it's OK, ambient light, let's make it a bit more and shadows a bit less. Let's say OK, let's say OK. So we will get graphics something like that. So this is really what I want because it's, uh, you, you understand, this is uh, looks cool for the um, concept. Of course, this is not the construction drawings, but for the concept, it's modern enough. So I will leave as it is uh, and you will see now uh, small magic. If you will go to the other levels, uh, which using the same template, you will see it's working everywhere. So you will go to the second level, working it's here, you will go to the third level, it's working here, and just on and on. So you will see it's everywhere. Let's go to the basement. Actually, what I don't like, uh, actually I like it, but uh, it's not working right now. Uh, I will uh, switch off the shadows because my shadow is going to uh, outside from the my drawings. Uh, it's not so professional, so let's switch off. Uh, let's uh, switch off the cast shadows and maybe I will increase a bit the my ambient light. So I will go to the light and let's a little bit increase my ambient light. So let's say okay, let's say okay, and let's say again okay. So this is uh, actually what we can accept. Maybe I will make some more settings. It's only up to you guys, so just do as you think. So let's make it something like that. Maybe it will be work better. Let's say okay. Let's try to the other levels. Yeah, it's not bad. Let's leave it like that. But if you're okay with the shadows, you can save it, you can leave it. Uh, even you can change, for example, some direction. So we can do the same thing, actually. So let's go to back again one more time. Let's go again back to the, uh, for example, light. We'll find here the light and here the sun settings. Let's uh, put the sun settings and we can change, for example, the, the azimuth of the level. Let's say it will be 90. Uh, so and I will do like that and now we should switch off our shadows. Let's see what's what we will get Let's say okay. Let's say okay. So this is not what I want. It's really <laughs> So sorry uh, Let's change it again. Uh, this is my mistake. It will be 180. Let's try it Now it's everything should be okay 
yes the, now everything okay because our sun exactly under our building it's it's not going on the some uh sites only here it's okay uh and now i will just a bit disincrease our shadow because our shadow it's totally black one i don't like it and yes yes we will live like that so now you understand how it's working the graphics in revit now you know how you can prepare your drawing and in the next movie we will i mean in the next lesson we will already finish uh we will put our drawings out to our uh drawing schedule uh after oh, i mean a uh, drawing uh, sheets and we will place it there also uh, some schedules with some data of our uh of our some uh, rooms or interior details or something else so for today i think it's finished uh, thank you guys for watching this series it's going to the finish uh thank you for all of you i i hope it was uh, really helpful for you See you next time. To support my channel, you can go to Gumroad, check that my store. There you can find bottle of this Dynamo script, or you can buy two-story complete house, or even the two-story residential classic house. By this way, you supporting my channel and you making me happy to creating the new videos for you guys.